What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew here for Le Marrow Strand, episode 39.5. Yeah, Monday Marrow Strand. We got it. Monday, yes. Monday, Monday. That's Go why everything Strand. is rebelling. It is. It's because it's a Monday edition. We're on the, yeah. We're on yeah. the wrong day. It knows we're not supposed to be here. Yeah. It knows it's <laughs> self aware. Why are you making me work? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be home snuggling the booger dog? Don't feel bad for him. He has been nonstop snuggled for the last 24 hours. All right. Is he still getting all the crazy love and uh, funness from your construction? Yes. Apocalypse ASMR is in full force. What was nice, mm -hmm. though, when I was gone is when they ripped up in front of my driveway. So oh, instead cool. of being uh, constructioned in, uh, I was gone. So it made all the sense. Mm. Yeah. But we need to get in the thing. Oh, feisty lay froze. I was gonna say, is it going a little is it, crazy? Is it my internet or is it? No, it's it's ping. No, yeah. it's ping. Ping's just doing ping. So I saw Rob go out first. Okay. Well, some of you are okay. Some of you are not. <laughs> it's a Monday. It's a Monday thing. Uh, like I said, all the other embeds I can never speak for. The only one that matters is what comes through on my screen. Agreed. And he's is the that, one that is shitting yeah. the bed. Uh, so then maybe it is my connection. Let me check. Usually, usually it is. I know. Usually it is. Usually it is. That's the question. <laughs> LA net. Apparently. It's a West Coast thing because I've been eating garbage since literally you started the episode. <laughs> and we know he's on a brand new rig. All right. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with the computer. <laughs> it's not a computer. Dude, the adjust your television screens. The seven megabytes upload I've got right now <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> oh my god. It's uh not even a fifty-six K. <laughs> Campbell's uh tin string line. That's what you got going on. No, it's Campbell's not my it's not my internet, internet. soup. I've got mm -mm. gig up, gig down. Ooh, I don't know what it is then. Whatever. Down and thing monitor now. I'm trying to Okay, I think this, this will work. Who's got a... <laughs> Everybody's having the problems. <laughs> I'm it's all dying. Well, you guys are I'm now in audio opera mode, like me. I don't care whether you can see or not. Um... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Welcome Who... to the Monday radio edition of Marrow Strand. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, relax, we're, and... We're podcast uh... now. Yeah. 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 We're a podcast. <laughs> oh man! I'm don't, radio. Don't, don't don't say we're a podcast. They like to come back and charge you for everything. Podcasting oh, okay, is the biggest scam on the planet. Though it looks like I can hop on the RSS feed now for free with YouTube Podcast. So yeah, you, one, you're on you're on mine. I'm on there, but I don't think I'm on the RS feed. I just saw now I can click on it and enable it. Maybe it's not all my playlists that are on there. No, all of them are. Let's go. Least, we, yeah, I'll sh I'll show you later. But yeah, I was super. I thought you had done it purposefully, but now that I know that that's no, not the case, I did it. But then there's an additional thing that has popped up that makes it look like I didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, that's on well, there. I'll so show you, I'll show you later what it, it looks super cool and slick. Like it looks very professional. Like it looks like, hey, here's the Maristrand podcast. Here's all the episodes. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, because I put it in because you have to put different graphics in. So like I put all the, yeah. I did all the things. So and they look good. They what do you, what really do you, li do you listen to it on a YouTube Music? Is that how you listen? Yeah, YouTube okay. Music. Yeah. yeah. See, YouTube supremacy. Screw, screw all your stuff. <laughs> See, there da, da, da. You can see the Maristrand logo, and then it just all all the episodes right there. <laughs> That's hot. Yeah, dude, it's pretty slick. Oh my. Who's got uh big announcements they want to let before we uh get into this crazy episode? I think we're all just struggling to survive. We're all just no, trying to live. I'm alive. It's enough to celebrate, yeah. <laughs> soon TM stuff. I'm doing soon TM. Same thing. I'm just still waiting. I'm like, come on, guys. Same I want to announce every things. Week. <laughs> I want to announce things, guys. We're running out of announce time. So announce room. Announce room. Uh, radio, can you give us an announcement when Horde Mode is going to be ready on Destiny 2? Oh, it's going to be in April. I don't have the exact date, but there is another uh, developer stream tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, for the uh, the Destiny devs. You can bet your bottom dollar that there will be a return Destiny stream with both me and a radio playing Horde Ooh. mode whenever it drops. <laughs> we have only wanted this since D1. So 
I'm very yeah, excited. What? Uh, I believe... Titan Hunter? What? <laughs> nobody needs. Nobody what? Needs Hunter. What are you talking <laughs> no. about? Right? What? <laughs> uh, Tell you just like the... to all players on April 9th. April 9th. Uh, what's April 2nd? Pre orders? Uh, no, it's 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 this is all part of Beyond Light before they get into the June release of the last installment of the game. Madam was saying April 2nd. That's why I was wondering if it was. Uh... Oh, okay. She just doesn't know. Well, you know what? Most of the time, your man is better at everything at Destiny, but we just beat him because we got the correct date. <laughs> get, get wrecked, Rogie Rogue. He knows Rogue. lore, but we know dates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I haven't shot guns in forever, and that's going to give me a reason to go pew pew and rage pew. because I understand that at the very end, it's not going to be about us pointing and firing guns. It's going to be break shield hell and then when i get angry and i leave and radio's like well i gotta call my other friends to keep playing this that's exactly what's gonna happen <laughs> wait you mean like i did with hell divers <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a case of we got thrown in way too deep in the water and had no game mechanics understanding and it just felt like it just pooped all over us the whole time no i think everybody's just a liar that plays that no game. it's I've, no. I've been i've been just playing the easy mode by myself and just pulling in people randomly and been having a blast i i think everybody's that's that's the most horns, that's the most horn swoggled <laughs> i've ever seen people are so hurt up that they think hell divers is a good game that's that's what <laughs> people are so hurt up for a good game the controls the controls on that the controls on that are are going like going back in time like unbelievable like no, not you. dogma too baby there's your answer yeah <laughs> no i already i hate it too because it should be multiplayer and it's not so i have reasons yeah, to hate that it would be pretty dope cozy community is pretty big chilling with the stardew update damn We're right blast, damn man. right i have heard a lot blast. about the stardew I'm, update i'm there with you i got it downloaded i'm ready to start my farm up and yeah i'm gonna have a really good time and then go oh why am i playing this i already have so many chores to do in my house why am i doing them online and then <laughs> i'll once again i'll put that here. I'll put that game away and, um, you know, I'll just come up God, for that plus house flipper updates that have been coming out. We got to announce the new DLC. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all are on the wrong page. <laughs> Chugging Mayo. Let's go. Chugging <laughs> Mayo. I just figured out why my wife likes those games. Thank you. <laughs> just chores on the games. I do chores in life. Right. Don't you forget it. Yeah. House husband life. Hashtag. <laughs> but uh yeah i just want to say a shout out to all the kindest people that i know in the gaming space that are awesome that make it such a blast <laughs> to go to pax east every year this was definitely the best pax east since pre-covid the community was kicking and i saw a lot of folks talking about just how immaculate everything was uh vibes wise so you know what we love that and it was fantastic yeah. Uh, met a lot of new friends, drank a lot of Voodoo Ranger teas. Hashtag yes. uh, drink Voodoo Ranger tea. It's so I good. I saw that 2025 is in May, and that could entice me to go to Boston. So just yeah. saying. It's going to be great. Uh, we have kind of a different formula. Like now, the now that everyone's not doing 23 parties every night, there is yeah. a, there, there is a, and it's like everybody said, it felt like mm -hmm. South. It did. Yeah, yeah. It, it really felt did. like South, and that that uh, before. I, whereas I would tell people like, "No, man, Boston is just too uh, helter skelter, too much business. I won't see you there." No, it was it was the opposite, and we the Voodoo Ranger Lounge was three times the size, and we still <laughs> had too many people inside. It was so packed. It was on so Saturday, packed. I remember going down there on Saturday at noon, and there were seventy-five people waiting in line to get in because they had closed. They had capped the line off. <laughs> it was. I. We had to reserve a table just for yeah. us partners to have somewhere to breathe. We had nowhere to go inside there. It was awesome. No, no lazy magic because we couldn't find any uh, games. We're but we have taken care of that because I I purchased game night, so yeah. we will we will. We will have it next year. Actually, hopefully, I, I have said it before, but I just recently sent a text over to my nephews 
and I think they're leaving town again. So me wanting to spend time with my family actually won't happen. It'll be like West last year where I canceled and then my family abandoned me. My dad, <laughs> my dad and his girlfriend went went, went one way, and my That's brother really and my nephews that. went a different. And I just got left home. And I was like, I canceled plans for this, but no one. For yeah, this. yeah. Oh, hey, Uncle Ro, he has so much fun. Don't worry about him. He has options. No, everyone's gone. And going to your lake by itself is not is the, probably one of the most uh, depressing things when you're like, That's oh, I'm going to go sad. take the pontoon, pontoon out. Like, yeah, you can go fishing. Myself. You can do stuff, but well, like... I, I That's that's not my lake experience. Mine is with a million people and yeah. pumping it up. I can go be serene anytime. I can go down and look at the river. Live in a van down by the river if I want to. Down, down, down by the by river. By the river. But yeah. Uh, all, East was amazing. Looking forward to it. Uh, GCX... All of us are going to probably be there. Uh, book and damn days. Book your days. Get your badges. Uh, stuff's going very quick. I just talked to Kevin today, and he even tweeted about it. Rooms are going super fast. You don't have to pay for your rooms up front, and they're the most affordable rooms that you'll have out of the entire con circuit. It's almost literally half the cost of what I paid for my room, uh, room rate this weekend, and you're in the Rose and Shingle Creek which if you're not there is a completely different experience. It is yeah, definitely yeah. a single hotel con. Like I don't know why you're not there. That's that's uh, really like how do you even play. get there from another hotel? It's so far the because road just to Jim, that other everyone else to cancels the on you and you're stuck with no other options because all the rooms are gone. Okay. Sometimes things happen. <laughs> oh, somebody got triggered at the end. Oh man. <laughs> somebody got a lot triggered. Yeah, we had we had a rolly bed for you. You're good. <laughs> we and you know what? No matter how many cockroaches are in my room, they have always brought me a roller bed i mean how cool is that almost any other hotel tells me to absolutely <laughs> off Pound yeah, sand. Rack, yep. <laughs> and they're like they look and they're like well there's no don't worry it's, he, they they look yeah. at our eye and they know we're gonna make room we will play jenga <laughs> yeah it's, we got human jenga Every guy in that room is like, how can I rearrange this room now? This is a bathtub is looking mighty comfy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Man, that's Legos. Cooler. That's, that's, I was gonna say, that's yeah. our cooler. What are you talking about? <laughs> we, we bathe in the pool and the bathtub is the cooler. <laughs> I, I, I've just been informed. I've been shouting out the wrong account the entire time. <laughs> oh, no, I got it right. Hey, I got it right. Yeah. Yes. You did the thing. It did the thing. Okay. I'm not as big of a boomer as I thought I was. People with different <laughs> usernames. But yeah, you can see it. My friend Hack Ricklesley, who I play with on Wednesdays and uh, Nerd Immersion's channel, was hanging out in chat. So go follow her channel. Go see more D&D, &D, yo. Mm. Ah, and yes, for everyone I met this weekend, I don't know your usernames yet. <laughs> I don't it's, remember your name. It's gonna take a minute. If it's different from your, <laughs> if it's different from your Twitter, it's gonna take me a minute. And for all the devs that I met their real name, and then I get like, uh, you know, Salt Life ninety seven as your Twitter <laughs> name, and then your Twitch name is different. It's gonna take a while. Don't worry. Yeah, and also fix that. <laughs> and also fix that. And if you're from Cincinnati, please take the Salt Life sticker off. Just like give it up. Like, <laughs> but this, change it out with Chili Life, and just represent. And, uh, it's, it's honestly it's so triggering when i see it here in la i'm like what are you even doing where did you find that brand get oh, out of here <laughs> from the used car lot <laughs> apparently oh, from actually a very valid point I from quid you gailing hashtag <laughs> play life <laughs> hashtag <laughs> i drove my truck secret. out here and sold it <laughs> hashtag secret of the medallion Dude, dude, pick the secret medallion. I sh oh man, I wish I had a picture of it. I would definitely make a token yeah. of the medallion. Yeah, Sorry, they, that's they insider joke. Your recorder. Don't go to Quidya or believe anything in it. So that's they our last. Told you to turn off your recording device. <laughs> here. Yeah, yeah, that, that's when you officially know you're no longer in the trust tree. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, this week there's no Rise of the Black Worm. Uh, the, the boys are off again this week. They won't be back until April. Uh, 
there will be Stormforge on Wednesday, and there will be the game uh, over on Ted's channel. Gladaron, uh, who knows, will probably figure out when they're playing about 24 hours before they do. <laughs> now, I imagine they'll play on sometime this weekend, but we don't know when. Uh, it is TBD, but the full schedule is not even posted yet. So, you know, enjoy me getting my shit together tomorrow. They'll never catch up to us now. Yeah, get it together, man. You have to run an event all weekend. Oh, dude, you got you guys got point five, so they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna hop. You're gonna be back to being tied again. Wow, uh, I disagree. <laughs> Wait, you mean my sole decision is now altering the con? Oh God. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't personally. I don't count point fives. I count those as full episodes. So it's still episode you round count. up. Yeah, <laughs> you round up. If we wake this thing up, it's going to be a full episode. Well, I just get us, <laughs> now, now we're going to be now we're going to be at forty and a half. You know, or <laughs> yeah. So we've had another point five already. Picking up where we left off last week, you guys are locked into battle because you've snuck your way in to one of the major swamp bosses. Being able to use your powers at hand between Pass Without a Trace and the help from some natural 20s and getting your way there. You guys are locked into battle with this Yonti Abomination. However, you guys have to finish this thing off in this second round of combat, which you wouldn't even have in the first place if it weren't for Akiko's Psychic Lance. And that one, baby. Let's go. <laughs> and a beautiful Nat one. All right. Who is left in our turn order here? It looks. Oh, this is. You know what? That's an old ass roll log. But the cool thing is, they were RPN, so there's not much there. <laughs> um, like that is not our roll log. <laughs> I, I think it is accurate. I think it is on Tarvin's turn, but. I thought we were at the head of it. I thought we started with Christian because. Oh yeah, because I burned yeah, through sure mine. It was my turn coming. Up. <sighs> oh, you know, hey, it's because when we change to this PC, its configurations are all gone. So we have to change the carousel back to starting uh, on the left. But no, it's still saying that. Yeah, it still says Tarbin's turn. But that's I'll not what the roll log says. I'll pull up the VOD real quick. Yeah, double check our VOD here, but I'm pretty yeah, sure- it's my turn because uh, Dylan the Onion Knight was what you used for the spear, but it was uh, whatever your cousin's name is. I forget oh, off the top yeah. of my head. Oh, yeah, because you said the spears were the same for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's Dr. right, Earl cousin, Earl. cousin Earl. That's why it says Earl, he that's who it was. Yeah, cousin Earl. Like, I'm just gonna do this because his bow stuff wasn't working or something. So yep, there I'm it is, there his, there's his damage right there. And he's guiding bolted, I get two advantage swings. Let's do it. All right, I will move this to you, Mr. Tian. All right, I will step within melee range. God help us And all. you do have this bad boy bloodied. Oh, good, good. Let's see, if, let's see if we can add some more blood, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I know, right? I was freaking out. I was like, oh, yeah, what's happening? What's wrong? I was like, wait, it's dark mode. I am, uh, I'm going to step up next to Tarvin, as as often we do, and I am going to take out my great sword, and I am going to. Swing with the fury. Everything I can muster. Oh, why did it roll like that? I just meant to click it. Oh no. Well, hey, that's not. Man. That's not what I meant to do. But that's okay. I'll just do it again. So you have advantage on it. So just do it again. Please, sir. That's worse. Oh, that's twenty. <laughs> oh, that twenty was right there. Adam. Uh, by, by the way. Whatever energy we have right now, it is the time to smudge it, incense it, clear this shit. By the way, all the creators out there, don't update to new OBS. Don't do it. Wait a week. Don't be like me. Don't waste don't like 45 minutes of your start time because you updated. It ends up being your fault. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what seed I pulled on Foundry, but I didn't refresh after the update finished, so I'm about to refresh now and get a new seed. I don't even know what's going to be. New seed. It's going to be a worse seed. Seed me. 
I don't. Mm. Seed me, oh cedar. Uh, Adam, would you like to use a lucky card? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. Did I use an? Uh, what did I use? Did I can, I use I can a lucky tell card? you what you used. You used an advantage, and that's it. That's what I used. Okay. Um. Yeah, we gotta burn this thing. So I'm gonna burn a lucky and roll once more. Or you could do both. You could re right? Is that right, Rob? He could re-roll both because he's got advantage. Yes. And then, okay. as far as resistances for this thing, did we we figure out all of which? Fire, lightning. Uh, I believe poison. Yeah, it was it was poison or acid? Uh, acid is halved. Acid. I think it was acid that we learned. I don't think we've actually set poison at it. I mean, the good news is that you know most of the time a poisoned creature. Is gonna be. Rude. I figured out the advantage. I remembered it was shift. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go. Was it twenty four hit? We're so proud of you here. Thanks. I think I think twenty four just hits if I remember. Uh, twenty two is ACs we have. So is yes. Oh. All right, and I yes, will. Yes, Guardian. Roll the damage. <laughs> Good use 20, of a lucky card. Twenty six. Come on. Twenty four points of slashing damage. Two points of lightning damage. <laughs> and I am going to <laughs> cast a... Uh, Just a reminder that uh, piercing, slashing are all halved. Uh, bludgeoning is the only one that has been in full effect. I mean, I have swords. I can't. Bludgeon. I can punch him. You got a forehead, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, hey, 12 points of, of damage is so good for... I mean, it's not, but <laughs> but I and then it's going to be halved, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, Divine Smite. Why is that? Gonna That's be not true, because Radiant is no, full. But his is lightning. Mine's lightning, remember? Well, sometimes you live to be the problem. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I am the problem. <laughs> uh, good rolls, though. Good 25. rolls. Damage. And 12. It's just so depressing. It's just so depressing. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to swing again uh, at advantage. God help me. The guiding bolt advantage. Come on. Oh. Oh. 22. That hits, yeah. right? 22 yeah, hits. Yes, 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 I yes. I was, I was hoping for a 20. That's why I went off. Oh. Yeah, me too. Oh, not as good. Not as good. 28, which is 24 slashing for lightning. <laughs> uh, and I am going to once again cast Divine Smite at third level and hope that I get a good roll as last time not as good <laughs> that is 11 lightning damage I do miss elemental adepts bless you Asher Mm, yeah, elemental adept. Oof. Um, oh, that slight roll was rough. Oof. Yeah, it was. I think. I think that'll do it. That's my. Uh, that's my everything. Bonus action, third swing. Hmm. I can only make two swings. I think there's a thing for. Oh, uh, you don't have two. Okay, yeah. Why did it only two take? Why did it only take two damage there? That's a great question. <laughs> it taken five. <laughs> Every bit counts. Huh. I should have done something else. But did it did half on the first divine smite? Yeah. Okay. Oh, did it? Oh, I. For, I for, You're hitting the half button. Uh, yeah. I know. I was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I have to hit the regular button because this is updated to allow resistances. Right. 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 So it's me sitting there calculating the math and then realizing I don't have to calculate for half the math sometimes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good times. You know. Good times. Wham, wham, All right. wham. That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> it was not nearly as 
epic as I was hoping it would be. You're a crit away from it actually happening, though. Yeah, that's why I, I did the uh, great <sighs> weapon both times, because I was, like, trying to, you know what I mean? Did you great weapon master? Mm-hmm. I, I had it toggled, so it should have added. Did it add the extra 10 at the end? Yeah. Uh, I see plus yeah. 17. Oh, it did. It's, it's just, just, yeah, because the slashing we enhanced. But, I mean, that's yeah. the only reason you got that damage in there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I did both of them, so I maximized the turn as best I could. That is my turn. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, God. Our onion night. Our onion night, Dylan. Spears and uh, a sneak attack. And <sighs> wild. It'd be a lot cooler if Mr. Tian got a crit. My crit, while well, cool, is like not that cool. Um, He's going to be our level by the end of this fight. So. Whoa, what the shit? Why are we in dark mode? That's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> it's cool. Dude, just everything is like, it's like gone for a weekend. <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm just going to assume our sheets work. And you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I didn't do this. Yeah, that's not we fun. got one encounter to get through, okay? One encounter tonight. Yeah, please let us just kill this thing before <sighs> horrible things happen at the end of this turn. By the way, I didn't talk to anybody about my flight back home. A big and a big and tasty woman sat in the middle seat purposely, Ooh, nice. and we we were sweating on each other the whole way home. That's but nice. she kept that's sighing, hard. kept turning and sighing at me after she sat in the middle seat purposely. <laughs> Or by the way, it was her husband that was next there. Her husband sat in the exit row and didn't say that, like, hey, I have a partner with me or anything. Just let me sit over by the window and then came in. And it was like, you know what? Glad this is a two-hour flight. Otherwise, two and a half probably would have <laughs> done. Just would have <laughs> opened up the exit and gone out. No, Just, you don't even have to. They open on their own. <laughs> <laughs> they open on their own. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> let's see it. Onion night. Spear throw for the win. Uh, does have sneak attack. Um, As advantage. Should I try to hide in here? Um, well, you could do that as a bonus action afterwards, so you could decide based off the hit. No, you have to do it beforehand to be, yeah. to be hidden. And then oh, he already has, he already there, has advantage. There are well, he, there. Uh, cause they're incapacitated. So yeah I, yeah, I would have sneak attack advantage already. Let's yeah. go. Well, no, yeah. everybody gets advantage this round, right? Yeah. On the first one. <laughs> that's right. It's already. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm, that's, I'm making sure that that is still in play. Yes. So, and, and with that being the case, but he may, he attack. may should, he may want to bonus action hide at the end of his turn in preparation. If we don't do this <laughs> in one round. <laughs> Uh, no, he's gonna shoot. He's gonna he's gonna use every bit of DPS that he's got. Yeah, no, that's that's. Um. Yeah. Oh my! That just kind of sunk in my head right now. That yeah, we are. We, th this is this is this is the DPS check. Die. This is right yes. here. Um, this is do, do or die. Okay. Radio is is hasted, uh, and then I can mm -hmm. help the creature. God, so. we need we need big carbon energy. <laughs> so if it wakes up, you're dead. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Is he a champion nice. yet? No, he's not a <laughs> the onion the onion knight is not a not a champion. Uh, uh it's but, called Master Chef. We all wish it. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes chef. Yes chef. Yes chef. Uh yes chef. Heard hey. chef. Heard chef. Hey! Oh Max. Six on the it. die. Oh, we love it. We love it. Yo, there you go. Three, four, five, six. And he doesn't have anything special on his. These are all halved. And he will use his bonus action, even though he does not have a way to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and snooze the ad. And hit it here at the top it. of the order. <laughs> the top of the order. The order. All right. Top of the order. Top of the order. Oh, that'll hit. And that is it for Dylan. 
He did about as good as me. Uh, uh, wild magic. He's I was gonna say, is he out of his wild magic? Uh, no, uh, that's the fun part about Dylan. He's never out of magic. Um, <laughs> and does it happen twice because of the bonus throw, or just once? I don't remember. There what was did. a reason why he got the. Uh, it happened twice. I want to say that was an extra strike card. Okay. Yeah, he did an extra strike last time. Yeah, I think it's just on his action. Let's hope it's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You instantly kill whatever creature you hit <laughs> with your. <laughs> Power word kill. But he misses and hits one of us. Damn it. <laughs> Be about the speed. All right. Come on, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. Ah, Dylan. If there was ever a time to roll really good wild magic. This would be it. <gasps> high number. High, high numbers. I don't know who made this table, but well, typically. Don't it, mean it, it typically yeah. means bald head <laughs> if you're weirdly in combat that has a dps <laughs> check you get one additional round okay so i think this person that has this table has a weird thing with butterflies oh, no. well that's fine i like butterflies, I like butterflies. No, because it, like it doesn't make any sense, kind of, with butterflies. Uh, well. Butterflies start singing around you. I'm gonna pull up my other Feywild magic table. Do it. Do it. Execute Fey magic sixty-six. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I looked at the one and above and the one below, and they were also weird. And we're in the yeah. 90s range. But like this was the one that brought us the fairy fire with butterflies. With butterflies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think somebody is a little I don't know. There's something just going on. Yeah, they just want to like butterflies. It's like it's a Fae. butterfly fay wild well table. Uh Fae's weird, you know. I don't know. Well, but there's more than just butterflies, I can tell you that. Um True. All right, this was the That's other table that I had. Okay, here we go. Actionable things. I this could be good or bad. Um Yo, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay, I need to. Uh, there are seven. Uh, no, there's six of us. Roll a one d six. I'm gonna. We're gonna go left to right, just like the stream. So I'm one. Ice is six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. One. In my case, I'm going to pass it. Uh, to the next oh actually no i do have an actual character in here uh before the abomination all right marcos uh for the next minute when making the attack roll uh if somebody rolls a natural one a shield will form around them and reflect the attack back at the attacker huh okay is that like on a saving throw? They roll a natural one. Yeah, it would have to be a saving throw, right, for it to right. send that to send that back. Or is it if they? Oh, when making an attack roll, an additional roll an additional d twenty on a one. Hold on, that doesn't oh. even make any. Got it. When Wait, making an attack, see. roll an additional d twenty. If I oh for the next minute. Okay. Okay, I. It's yeah. a very that's a very so, so if you if you roll a weird. one it's like you're protected for a minute basically and like uh, the next time you get a hit with an attack it'll deflect it back so it's like huh. it turns that one into like a benefit I guess kind of niche yeah very that's, niche very hard to keep track of too yeah uh we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and bump one up and one below and see what that does I thought that was gonna be a lot cooler before I got to the end of the sentence. Mm. <laughs> Oh no! Ooh, that's not. I wouldn't do that to anybody. Um, make a save and unattune to all your magic items. No. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Uh, no. Yeah, that's cool. No. Right, well, that's, that's some face stuff right there. Uh, no, 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 chef. Not right now, unless I want to kill everybody. Um. Oh. This one day. Do you? Give it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this uh because there's no there's at this point 
butterflies. <laughs> you see butterflies <laughs> around Dylan. <laughs> What's going on? What is this? <laughs> and Dylan disappears. What do you mean? Into the butterflies. Okay. Dylan is gone. Uh, hey, guys, uh, did you guys see Dylan? Oh my gosh, my voice. Uh, he sounds like such a sad boy. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I just, frog. I just I glanced back. About this. Uh, the, probably the fourth time I said this since we've gotten here. A little busy. I was like, I just, uh, okay, well, I'll Dil figure it Dylan, out. Later. Dylan is no longer on this plane of existence. <laughs> oh, God. That's going to be a later problem. Akiko, it is your turn. <laughs> what, dude, I never, let's never play Marrow Strand on a Monday like, ever again. This is, <laughs> dude, I'm starting to get pilot. sweaty. <laughs> like, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get sweaty, Chad. Oh, jeez. Akiko, <sighs> save us. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. You do all the big things. Yeah, Akiko. Do all my big things. It's limited to everything. Just don't go to a plane of existence. I don't. Don't roll on this fate wild magic table. Oh. I've already been there. To be honest, if anyone's gonna go, at least I know how to find my way back. Why is that in the high nineties? Why isn't that something cool? Like we roll the three. We roll the three. He can meet he's someone cool on there. Some, yeah, he's probably up on some cool training. He met up with time. Asher. Asher showing him some cool face stuff. You know. Well, if he rolled it, come back with three more levels. If he rolled a 98, he would have rolled. He would have made an additional action. So I don't know. It's just it, the, the whole thing is fade out. An additional <laughs> like anything to me. An additional butterfly action. Yeah. All right. Butterfly, well, sugar, uh, baby. Honest, we're just gonna keep going with the uh, psychic glance. Yeah. And yeah. We burned our fifth, so we're going fourth. I don't know if we've ever needed more back-to-back -back ones than right now. Yeah, we could really, yeah. we could really go for a one. It'd be really sick if you could just bomb this. You know what? Uncharged birthstone, not my birthstone, Amethyst. <laughs> this is this is not a divine intervention, but this is this is a call for all my ladies who have crystals up on the uh, windowsill. Windowsill. Yep. If there's ever a time to channel everything into the psychic lands. Hold your rocks. Hold, hold, hold rocks your rocks. On deck, rocks on deck. Rocks, rocks on, on deck. deck. <laughs> Everybody out there, we know half a chat. You got it there. And I don't care if not, clutch your astrological <laughs> sign. I don't give a shit. We need a one out of this. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. One, 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 one. Oh my God, it was. Two. Oh, come would it have? Would it have it's disadvantage? Does anyone. Does, does, no, does anyone have silvery barbs? Silvery, uh, I, if I can speak. Silvery, silvery barbs. I do, I do. Silver barbs. It's a reaction. I have it. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to use your reaction for this? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry. Yes, of course I do. Yes. All right. Here it goes. Here's a disadvantage roll. Come on. Come on. It fails. <sighs> it fails. It, it's, yeah. it does, helps. No. It, there is no. no the only way that this it was, only, it was a one only it's yeah. a it's a it's a one only one only deal i just i thought for full damage at least though right yeah uh for full damage right doesn't yeah. it doesn't it take yeah, half that's what we were it? looking for well no we wanted the other round with the one yeah. for the incapacitation <laughs> but i, I can only do so much <laughs> yes it will get full damage Nice. Oh, because it's a legendary creature. Right, 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 right. Nice. 19 points, psychic damage. But hey. this is it. This is the round. This is the round. It has to be. <laughs> Unless anybody else has psychic damage. Crack be nimble, crack be quick. <laughs> Crack's going to take his turn after this quick break. Handle stick. <laughs> All right, Ad's gonna start here in like uh, 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and take a little uh, little extra stretch a little, here. Little stretch. I wanted, to, I wanted to keep it as PG as possible there. Failed me. <laughs> Crack's gonna <laughs> hop on that magic stick. <laughs> oh, was like crappy nimble, crappy quick, quick. Crack's got a big old dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Three foot four with a... <laughs> <laughs> so real beer, I think I might have convinced my wife to buy a Wormwood coffee table. Ooh. That'll be crazy. That's that's, like a, that's, a fam that's about to become a family heirloom. It's cheaper than the coffee table she was looking at, so... Oh, that's a good way to justify it. That's super smart. Because, like, I... Restoration um, hardware is more expensive than Wormwood. Oh, my God. Like, four times more expensive. She was looking at coffee tables, like, $2,400. I was like, babe, why? Like, no. This is not a cool coffee table. I almost had her convinced to buy a uh, when we lived in LA in the house to buy a, like a full worm room table. I was like, babe, we can just have people over play D and D. No big deal. No big deal. We can play video. Like, you gotta like, love I was it. like, I was like, we can play you know board games and then just keep the board games set up and just put the. Table <laughs> <in the board. laughs> oh man. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna build it and show it to her and be like, hey, look, this is this is what it would look like. And she's going to look at the price and go, $700. Buy it. Buy it right now. Oh, my God. I just saw the clip of Yoshi P uh, announcing that the, <laughs> their whole reason for them pushing the Final Fantasy fourteen. DLC back so everyone can play Elden Ring for the week. <laughs> he goes, I give you one week. <laughs> That's awesome. But good, hey, good for them looking at the release calendar. Don't dump everything on the same week. Yeah. When you know your audience is uh, that ingrained. In like the the Japanese studios just do it right, man. They they consider all aspects. So, yeah, I, I realize you guys are uh, seeing weird stuff on YouTube. At the, Today, at this juncture, I don't care. Uh, just to yeah. let you know, there are so many other problems that are happening at the same time that I can't only fix so many. And uh, I don't know why it's doing that, because I input, I put everything in uh, once, and I'm not going back to do it again. So, thank you, but no thank you. It is the last of last priorities at the moment, making sure that thing reads correctly. And you know what? Lo lo last time, lo and behold, like about halfway through, it displayed correctly. There is something about when I leave for a long, longer period of time, and then I go and I change uh, the input before the episode, that it likes to like save parts of it still from when I was last. It doesn't like a, it doesn't like clean the cache from uh, setting up a YouTube stream for some reason. We don't know why, but you know, that's the way it rolls sometimes. Or we've also found a drag and drop, it just doesn't work. And it wants you to manually select a, a file to, uh, to upload and then it's like ooh look at this working we got about 30 seconds left on that ad before we get to return to the fun but let me tell you what it's a riveting ad I see over here I don't know what it's for oh it's Axe Body Spray adorable <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Crack. It is your turn. All right. Well, first things first, we're going to roll on that table. Do it. Roll number one. Huh. Okay. Roll number two. <laughs> Bottled luck. Why wow, are they three. so low? Why are they so low? 
Oh, recipient gains a spell slot. That's not terrible, actually. That's I actually pretty say, good. Hey, wait, hey, we. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> fifth level spell back is pretty freaking strong. Uh, dude, crack. Slam that. Uh, <laughs> just slam that potion and re-roll. One of uh, the the mix roll. Since you're fishing for a high DPS, <laughs> I will sl I will drink the bottle luck and roll again. That yeah, seems right. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it's like uh, nobody wants this anyways. I mean, it could be useful, but DPS check time. We need 99, 67. Great Scott! Oh, static electricity. Oh god. Oh, fuck off. Any melee attacks? What a, you with man, we don't have anybody that does lightning attack. damage. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> how cool. How cool. I've been secretly. Oh how, oh, how cool. For like the last like month, I've been secretly praying to Ulrashan that uh, the boons also. Can it changes my... this element. <laughs> so, can you like? I know that you're like a really cool like thunder dragon and like up there in the clouds and stuff. But like, can you just? Can we do, fun uh, fact though. Fun fact though. That is actually a thing based on the lore that I've written. It, it works off your personality, and as you evolve, things can happen. Fun Ooh, fact. Can you realize that it's been a little useless recently? <laughs> I, that is that is a that I control so much, but that is a Rob thing. That is a DM thing. That is just the mechanic. But hey, electricity, it's something. <laughs> How to make so, it work? Question. Uh, question i guess does does it is it does he get just the the electricity one or does he can he still choose the mana one even though he drank it i don't know how that works no that one's done as a reroll, so he can do okay. what he wants yeah um yeah i will keep the mana potion that seems more youthful in this situations uh. And if I remember correctly, see if it's saved. Move that. Well, you still keep both. It's just one. So you can only you can only keep one post combat. Yeah. So you know he can still use that electric one if we fail this DPS check, and we're <laughs> we conjure the rest of the swamp that's all staring at us. Um, so seeing that like last time I shot my crossbow the fire damage really didn't do much I'm gonna Just switch it over the 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 other um, Chamber and uh, you see it like bits of ice begin to form at the end of the crossbow and I'll shoot him with an ice arrow Let's go Nice ice Haha <laughs> <laughs> We haven't shot ice yet have we? No oh. Nat 20 okay, 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 good. Yes! Mm -hmm. Yes! So we still don't know if it is cold resistant or not. Because <laughs> he nat 20 did it on out. <laughs> about to find it. I'll yes. take the damage, baby. I was going to say, if it does, well, no, I'm going to feel real bad about the not using ice form. Because I am a benevolent DM, I always give you uh, <laughs> the damage when you roll a 20. That's what I'm saying. We won't actually get okay. to know if it applies That's, or not. Okay. I, I'll tell yeah. you. I will tell you. Okay. Okay. Uh, when, I'll soul. tell you when I find out when I click this button. <laughs> that damage button. And then I'll hit the sneak attack button. Yes. Yes. Dude, that's freaking so huge. Bad. We needed this so bad. Critical and sneak then... attack damage. I forgot that you get this. And so his really sneak strong. attack turns to his alchemical. All right. So he did 30 points of piercing, four points of cold, and then 21, 21 points of cold because his sneak attack is alchemical. Is his sneak attack critted? Yeah, he's got to hit the crit button. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Lay two. Uh, That's what I was saying. Like, it, looked, it looked low. Oh, or to, yeah. Um, it's right yeah, next yeah, to it. It's a little mini pair of die on the left-hand side when you float over the top oh, of it. that guy. Yeah! Big yeah, guy. we're up to 37 points of cold damage. Did we just get a rubber ducky in chat? Or is it a real life duck? I don't, I can't tell. Can somebody help me out with that? So. Being uh, held in hands. Tub, tubbo B give is the name of the emote. Uh, thank you. I also have well, thank you so much for the duck. Can uh, chat please name the duck? 
Oh yeah, Fury the Small, let's go. Yeah, and I have Piercer. Uh, you can roll one additional damage die when determining the extra piercing die that the your, target takes. Your Piercer already ran. You can oh, you can cool. unfold it and you can see it's there. Uh, you got okay. three, uh, three attack dies. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at. Uh, Replace. Okay, good. Oh, I forgot to replace it. Still in the duck. Whoa. Yes. Good job, chat. Good job. Well. <laughs> I keep forgetting to turn on sharpshooter as well. Uh, sharpshooter, you actually had on. I can see. Oh, I did. Where was yeah, it? you left it on. It's on your character. Oh, cool. Where, where As you can see, Bless is on there. You can see sharpshooter. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> guidance, you can take off now. Uh, okay. But guidance wouldn't have factored in on this anyway. Uh, I'm gonna have to veto you guys with Dylan. We're gonna change that to Dijon. Our duck is Ooh. Dijon. Dijon uh, the duck. I liked the idea of a duck walking up and us just being like, I don't know, maybe he turned himself into a duck, so we just thought it was him. <laughs> oh, the I was not on the oh that sounded a little bit more like bubble guts. Um I got the pokey crawl button that said you gotta drink them all, and it's a side duck that's like <laughs> it's really cute. I okay, sorry. Another quick tangent. I saw the cutest Pokemon thing at the rave this weekend where this girl was dressed up as an Ash Ketchum cosplayer and she ran into a group of Psyducks and they all freaked out at each other and she unloaded all these Pokeball like candy charms that she had. And she starts, she's just like, ah, all these <laughs> they all started, I was just sitting there relaxing and waiting for the next set. I was like, oh, this is so freaking cute. Oh my God. Ah. Look at all that damage. Uh, Let's go. Okay, so seventy-one so. damage, and oh, another four from from Fury. You're so cute. Let's go, crack. Seventy-five. So damage. did he take all of it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he crit. You can I see it. It's all on the log. But did Man. he? Did he? Yeah. Did did he? Did he take? Is he resistant the to it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he is not resistant to cold damage. Noted. Cool. I could have used my katana. <laughs> I could have done the ice storm, but I was too scared. Okay. Uh, any movement for you, Crack? Uh, no, Crack will stay, but you know, like, he'll just like get like you see him just get real like giddy and 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 hyper, and he's like, it, it, it's a, it's a cold, it's the cold, it's the cold. <sighs> crack may have just saved our lives. I it may have. <sighs> That, because that is an element that I can I can pick up, right? Right. Aced target. Yes. And even though it's from his uh, his crossbow, sweet. Do you wanted to toss that spell thing back to that cone of cold fifth level? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tarbin. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get there. <laughs> Tarbin grabs Caramon's bite with both hands, and as he does, strikes one hand across the top of the tang. His blade starts to vibrate with this red and white energy. Uh, I'm going to channel divinity on uh, that uh, this this guy right here. We're going to target up, uh, which should give me four strikes at advantage. Four strikes at advantage. All right. Hell yeah. Well, let's see what we can cook. Come on, baby. <laughs> Fair weapon master, mm -hmm. all of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a crit! Oh, it's a crit! That's First a crit. was a crit! Let's go! Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, 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 Well, I, I also have Hunter's Mark on top of that. Um, it might be over more. in one swing. <laughs> it go. might be Let's over go. in go. one swing. Let's go! Let's go! 2d6. Double it. Um, where? Oh, there's the dice. Um, it's I don't a little, know. Oops, two. How to times two that? You hover the three, and then you click the dice. E, oh, there. You have to click actually on the dice. Dice. Nice. Yes. And then we will smite the smitey smiter. Yes. Yes. Smiter. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oh, two ones, but pretty. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 
Big bear. God, I want to give you a big grizzly hug. Fifty six points of slashing. All apply. apply. Yeah. Seven points of hunter's mark, which are slashing. All apply. Nice. Forty four points of divine smite. Oh. 25, that's a DTD. Hey, but no, hey, hey. Is that that white and red energy pulses through Caramount's bite. Tarvin takes this almost baseball bat swing as he takes his back foot, steps behind him and swings through with his shoulder on the back of the blade as he doesn't just cut into, but literally cleaves this Yanti in half with the swing through and then flops the blade back down and slings the blood right back on the carcass. Ah, oh, oh, that's so good. You did it. Oh, you did it. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful bear, you. I didn't need to decay the party. Thank God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> better start no, cutting like, that thing up. If we noticed anything yeah. from last time, you better start. <laughs> uh, As its body remains still, you get just an idea of the sheer devastation a round of attacks from this creature could have caused. Tarbin looking down at the size of the fangs of this creature being almost as long from the tip of your middle finger to the end of your elbow. The poison in the acid from the inside of its mouth already beginning to take the varnish and the age off of the stone that it's lying on. What you felt is eyeballs and that presence of someone always watching you begins to slowly rescind and fade away. Slowly but surely, the sounds of the swamp return. While past without a trace is certainly not active anymore, your presence inside the swamp has earned you something. A bit of that corruption has been peeled back. What would you guys like to do inside of this holla? Um, Dylan? D Dylan? Dylan, where'd you go? Hello? Has anybody, anybody seen Dylan? He he just kind of poofed. After he threw his spear, he just kind of poofed and, um... I don't know, last thing I saw was butterflies? Dylan! No response from Dylan. Um, uh, okay, well, that's not good. Christian will uh, walk towards is the I know this is like the root of a tree but is there like an opening can you see outside or is it like enclosed like we're inside it's some sort of like fortress type thing right like you walked in and it is possible to walk out okay I, uh, yeah I think that this would be a good moment he's only done this once before um, being that Christian had that surge, that connection, and it's still pulsing within him from Oroshan, that presence, knowing that his, his God, that he's doing what he's supposed to. He walks to the center of this place and he kind of, 
you see him kick this entity to the side a bit and he he gets down on on both knees and wipes away the blood and the ichor and 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 things like that and as previous takes out his sword and he kind of slams it into the ground and and electricity pulses and as it does it kind of sends out this wave and you see him take um the 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 blade of that and you see him begin to carve a crude symbol at the very center of this and he begins to mutter oroshan thank you at times i feel i'm not strong enough but you have given me a path that makes me feel worthy this kill this power belongs to you and as he does he finishes the etching on the ground and places his hands upon it um gauntlet off and you see what looks like almost draconic hands there is definitely a change to his hand presence in this kind of state that he is in that you've kind of noticed since we've gotten here uh and and he just runs and, and he runs his hand on the blade and, and his blood begins to pour down onto the carving and as he does he places his hand on the carving and it flares with this bright blue electricity and it flashes for a moment and on the ground beneath you see his handprint the handprint of blood sitting on top of what looks to be a large draconic wing this place regardless of the journey ahead sits as a token to your greatness your power shall reside in this place forever and then he takes the sword and he rips it out and he puts the gauntlet back on and then he just kind of sits there and just meditates and he just focuses and he's kind of rocking and every once in a while you can just hear thank you thank you Tarvin roll whatever you would like perception insight you're right next to all this <laughs> of course he can um, for it <laughs> Yeah, let's let's go <laughs> yeah. insight on that. Plus, I checked I mean... all his powers. We're like halved. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Ooh. What does he see that is different about what you're going through, Christian? The hand, I guess, is the biggest thing. Previously, Christian had mentioned when we were in the swamp before we entered this place and he had that conversation with Tarbin, but you all felt the presence, this ancient power, this draconic aura that sought to soothe, but was almost like knives in a dark room where there's light but you know there's something on the edge of it. And through this time and his connection and understanding, as he kind of kneels down and he places his hand, you would see, instead of, you know, his, his kind of like lightly tanned hand, you would see almost, almost white, like pure, like, like a dirty marble, almost. Uh, and you would see the hand is, is a bit beefier and you'd see the fingers are kind of a little bit gnarled and arched and where the fingertips sit are these black claws almost and as he runs it down you would see the blood although still red has kind of like a hinge of blue that you could see almost shimmer in the light as he places it down before he places the gauntlet back on Tarbin is going to take a knee by you. This is a power you take willingly. 
I accepted this power a long time ago. As long as it doesn't overtake you. We had conversations about that before. This was different. There are times where I'm tested. My worthiness. I choose to take the power or not. I fight against the nature of what I'm becoming. This was a different test. This was a call. I needed to do this. This was my charge. And we've done it. And there will be others. But I can feel through every ounce of my being for the first time pride. I was noticed in a different way. And I can't put to words how I know. But I've taken another step today. And he places well, then, his hand on your shoulder and you would feel probably before he puts the gauntlet on, you would feel it's it's there's the static, but there's cold, it's it's there's there's heat, it's it's like this kind of you'd you you'd basically feel this like elemental chain kind of ruptured around your 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 hand right where he places it where you feel the spark of electricity when it first touches and then you feel a little bit of that blood and it, and it kind of heats up fiery and then as he as he as he kind of squeezes the heat goes away and you feel this almost like cool ice cold numbing and then you know as, as he kind of smears it down you feel the sizzle of almost like like acid kind of burning away but no pain just kind of the sensation and it's this understanding that Although Christian sits in this place as he has always been, that there is so much more potential and possibility. And the biggest thing I think that you would kind of probably feel with that insight as well is that there is going to be change. And it's not before a question, it is there is a confidence and an understanding when he pr plus it, pr presses his hand on your shoulder. Well then, my friend, we celebrate this victory as you bask in the light of Orishan, and we make the bog just a little safer for our friend. We all bask, all of us, in this victory. Oh, not all of us. Can we hear this conversation? I'm definitely not being quiet about it. I, I just rolled that perception check. Uh, Bud has made his yeah. way to the outside of the tree, actually, looking for Dylan. But I wanted to, I specifically wanted to know, has, like, the swamp changed? Like, does it, does it seem like the death of this thing has caused this immediate area to be more the bog hollow that I'm familiar with? And specifically, does the sky look clearer above this area by chance? I like to think we're also, I'm with... Mr. Tyrant, and we're kind of checking the the roots and stuff around that were once giving us that just connected feeling of it. If we still need to kind of bonk things around, we're going to give you guys just a little bit to get outside. Okay. okay. If both of you are walking outside at the same time. Okay. Or are you inspecting the roots on the inside, Akiko? Uh, no, because we kind of, like, since we walked away from him, because we're also still kind of... I'm following him after we realize Dylan's gone. So I like to think we kind of converge together to go see kind of what's happening. And while we're out there, okay. I want to You guys are both out. So roots. Bud, yeah. Pal, and Akiko are walking their way out of 
the tree dungeon. Crack, where are you? Uh, Crack was just trying to harvest as much stuff as he can, whether it's from the body, from the roots. Like, trying to get get what what he can get while he's here. Before everybody's like, oh, haul out, time to go. Gotcha. Okay. Even if even if like in my harvesting, I get to like I'll search his body for anything as well. All right. So to answer your question, Marcos would have been the only person that is currently paying attention. Crack, you can roll a perception with disadvantage. Okay. I am going to be distracted by the dark mode every time I click open a character sheet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, so mine's not doing it. Mine's don't tell nice me. Don't. I don't. Bang. I'll be honest. I don't want to know any of your problems until tomorrow <laughs> at 9 a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're focused on that that kill, bud. I'm glad we had that roll to knock that one out. Before we make the survival checks. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> I'll Marcus be honest, with a tw- with a with a twelve. No, you got a twenty-two. It rolled twice. I just assume you rolled an advantage because you were just there watching. And now I, I clicked once. I'm gonna blame that on the dark vision. Uh let's go ahead and <laughs> let's flip a coin. Roll it again. Oh, okay. All about that coin. Tails, so that's a 12. Um, oh, what's great is the tooltips aren't in dark. Okay, that's just disgusting. <laughs> it's so <laughs> it's so jarring. Oh, um, funny. Yeah, I'm going to rule that Marcos is kind of taking this spot in, in itself uh, at the moment. Let's move that to the side so we can truly see that Mr. T and blood over here. Now... I've inserted this floor essentially here. This has always been here. This has always been a solid floor. Did not have enough time to make solid floor when we got into this. It was, I was not wondering if we were getting attacked by a UFO. I saw it moving around yeah, the right. screen a couple times. <laughs> that see, they can't see that. So you guys get to be <laughs> privy of me fixing things on the fly. This has always been a solid altar that is in inside here. So I didn't want you to think that this was a giant wishing well, like the original map is. All right. We'll get back to your scene in a second. Crack. I would like for you to make that first survival roll of harvesting. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, boy. Hey. Hey. And I, I'm, I'm going to share this once again, because I think this site is incredible. And it has, I believe, all of the official D&D creatures with the harvest table and everything on it. I just I have to share this. This is uh, incredible. It is the uh, thievesguild.cc with a 22. Uh, you know what? I will. Once again, tossed you a guidance crack because I'm going to help you with this roll. So what I want you to do is add a D4 to your first roll and then give you advantage. All right, so D4 on this first one, that's 22, you said? Ooh, you roll a D4. I'm going to roll your advantage roll because I'm a plus nine. I like it. Yeah, come on, get to that number. Get to that number. Oh, we're already there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so you have a 25 on yours. This will be a 1d4 guns on myself. Oh my, oh my gosh, yes. Wow. Wow. 
All right. We go over to this creature. Crack. And we eye this thing up like we've been dissecting. <laughs> Yanti. What I consider the abomination, but it's called an anthema. We're able to harvest everything. You're going to get seven vials of its blood. Whoa. It's blood which you're going to be able to use to create a potion of poison immunity. You're also going to get three vials of Yanti Venom. You're going to get the heart of this creature. And you're also going to get the spine. Dude, the spine. Oh, it's so freaking brutal. It's a total like predator moment too when I finally pull it out. <laughs> <and I> just... <laughs> ah! Dude, he's got this thing that's bigger than him and it's like. <laughs> it's just like it's just... He's, he's overhead pressing it once he gets yeah. it up out of the rib cage, just like getting underneath it, just pushing it up, pushing it up, pushing it up. Beautiful. Yes. Dude, that's so freaking cool. I geeked out so hard when I clicked on your link and read the harvesting table and I saw what the 25 was. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, Bife had the same uh, same same deal when I debuted it when he was cutting up one of the clad dragons. Oh he's my like, gosh. He's like, you have all of this? I was like, I would love to lie and say that I have, <laughs> I have studied this and created all this myself, but no, I have a nifty table the internet has provided. Yeah, it's a <laughs> nifty table, all right. That's so freaking dope. We've got a freaking Yanti spine. I want to know what we we're going to do. <laughs> Bud. Pal and Akiko. Yeah. You guys take that first step outside. The first thing you notice. It's like the anxiety, the pressure of the swamp, the way it was before. There's this bit of. Relief. It's like being unconstricted. A bit of the haze has dissipated in the area. The brackishness of the water begins to run a bit clearer. It starts to look like the actual mangroves are doing their job. Everything is a bit more breathable and manageable outside. But you can tell that it does not last forever. Like you can see the darkness on the on the precipice of it, right? Like you're, like you're in the it. eye of the storm kind of vibe. There, are, There is still four more parts of the swamp. You've come in from the north. Currently... You are in the east, but there is both the middle, the west, and the south. That look very dark and ominous still. Yes. Um, Akiko, look, look up. I, can you do your? I think, I think your your little weather trick might actually work now. Might at least work a little better and I'm going to kind of go up and I'm going to try and just see if I can just like to move the clouds just to see some some sun and feel that warmth. If we could just get a little hole. Roll your spell attack. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. Uh. There are still strong magics at play inside the swamp. And the presence of Grim Filer is still here. 
But in this little bit of area, you see that sunshine and a bit of the god rays poke through the haze and into the swamp. I can just imagine we're just like right next to each other, just looking up for this tiny like beam of light to come down and just one of those moments where you just like close your eyes and you just like feel it. We've been in this gross swamp, just kind of, oh, it just feels, it feels so good. Barcala gets a lot of shit, but this, this is the view right here that I love the best and you have just made this for me. I can't, like, it, it's, it's making me a little emotional, but just with the light coming through, you can see it, how it comes through these trees and it just makes a unique color. You see that color that's on the horizon up there? It's just. You look out over the bog and the first thing that you see is a turtle that has slowly been making its way up a piece of driftwood. And when that sun comes down, you can see it. It's got its little eyes closed and it, it's extending its neck up into the sun. There are other animals that are crawling out and getting a good position where there's finally some warmth returning to the swamp. Also, do you We're having that? a Disney princess moment. It, you remember that? You, you remember when we got here, it, it smelled, it smelled like, like death, death. Remember that? But this smell now though, this is, this is the swamp smell. This is what it's supposed to smell like. And it's just like a, it's not, it's not, it's not pleasant. But <laughs> As you see Dylan appear about 15 feet above the swamp before. I was going to say, well, can I, uh, reaction hey, to feather fall Dylan. him down as soon as I see him? Just oh, feather it's fall him? far too quick to save. <laughs> oh, Dylan. Hey, look, hey, look it's, it's Dylan. This poor guy. This hey, Dylan. Poor guy. Hey, we, 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 we did it. <laughs> you did it. You sent gonna, pal to I'm go gonna, get him, but I don't really feel yeah. like getting in there. You know, <laughs> you're, saying, you're saying I killed it. You're saying I killed it. Yeah, oh. that was you. You, you yeah. killed it, buddy. You did it, Yeah. Dude. You did it. Again. Yet again. I knew I knew I was a hero when it transported me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pal. Pal, go pick up our hero that has just, uh, great, just magically and majestically fallen back down into the swamp for us. And pal will just, like, dive down in, just like a speeding missile to him and just <laughs> right underneath him. Pop up. Carry his little sad self back to the, back to the tree stump. I know I could do it. It's horrible. Go? I don't know. It was so dark. It was. I was hoping. It was the worst. I, I, it, you know, it's like a, like also, a. Do you have a thing with butterflies? Look, I don't it's like know. Every time you do something crazy, it like the, the, you just leave a trail of butterflies. Now it. It's really pretty. Like I can control all the new idiots. Uh, oh no. As you kind of see, he's like, it's going to take a minute. Uh, I'm sorry. I got to. It's going to stay here, Danny. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry about me. It's just, uh, I got to, I got to. Uh, you, you and pal enjoy the sun and we're, I'm going to. I don't know. I think I'm going to head back inside. I, I think everybody else is going to be pretty impressed that Christian has decided to take us to avenge literally a pot of the swamp. Well, and if we're lucky, somebody else saw those rays of light and might be easier for us to find. Oh, man. And is as it? is tradition, the first time that Dylan travels between the planes, he has his pants. Yes. 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 <laughs> Absolutely has to. Glad you can come in at just the right time, Raiders. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks. Hi, this is Thanks Dylan. for sending your folks. Uh, if one of the mods no, can shout out Bobby, like please. Now. <laughs> Love you. Also, Dylan, you may want to go back into the swamp a little bit. <laughs> if, you just, if you hang out, the, the I found that the fishtail area, that really, they do a good job cleaning that. It wasn't me. Hey, look at look at Shay. He's such a boomer. He does the old control. Let's go. <laughs> well, uh, one of their NPCs just went to the shadow fell uh, by accident on a wild magic table. And as per tradition, the first time that you accidentally travel through the plains, you shit your pants. Um, so he's hanging out in the swamp. Like 
10 minutes or was he there like a year? <laughs> it's just like, it's just like. Oh God, you really want to make me roll for poor Dylan? How long <laughs> he was. Just say. Dude, hey, how bad? How bad you? Was out there. <laughs> he was, oh my God, he's been surviving. He comes yeah. back full beard. <laughs> Wilson, <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> uh, you don't know what I. Have. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you guys have willed it in. So here comes the D twelve. You did this. Oh my! You did this. God. Six months. Not six months. He's been in the shadow fell for six days. Okay, I mean that's still a long time. <laughs> like he's expected camping. Uh, now we're gonna have to make a survival check for him. Um, oh God, that. Oh. Oh. I mean, oh. our poor boy. He there and he, he sat there and he's so hungry. He's got there. a pot on his back and an obsession with butterflies. He's he's got... <laughs> he did eat good. <laughs> Dylan's coming back with two points of exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, <project. laughs> hey, it's experience. It's experience. He's but, learning. But he he has one thing with him. He goes, ah, I was over there. I, 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 I found this. I found this. I found this duck. It was all by. It was all by itself. And it, I was so it's hungry. But I knew. I was like, this duck was abandoned. I, 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 I call it. Where's and the I, duck, Dylan? I, it's here. He pulls it out of the bag. He goes, "Look at its little blonde tuft on, on the front." It was. I was so hungry. I named it D Dijon. <gasps> You've got a duck named Dijon now. <laughs> you were only gone for seven minutes. Get a cool <laughs> companion. <laughs> you weren't even. I still have <laughs> a rock. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Dylan officially now has a familiar named Dijon, the duck. You don't have a rock. You have a fish. Wait, how, long, fish. how long were you gone that you found a duck you were only gone for like 10 like a minute at most i was gone for a long time when you i don't know how to tell you this bud but when you when you kill as many final bosses as i have <laughs> i'm starting to learn yeah, these things find ways. ways to punish you <laughs> i don't know what to tell you bud I just I hope. Think, I, think, I just want to get well, back to my you, family you, soon. You take a you take a you take a load off. You take a load off. Maybe go clean your drawers in the swamp. Um, He's still sitting. We up. appreciate your sacrifices, <laughs> but you really <laughs> should go wash off. <laughs> also, your duck is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Ever. <laughs> yeah, until it's an eldritch horror and just like transforms. <laughs> yeah, then he brought back from the shadow fell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you check it for tentacles by chance? <laughs> Oh, he's got to oh, take it to the dark it's side. It's got these jagged you? teeth. I don't know. They're cute. I think uh, it I transported with me. That's what I think. I think it's, it's, oh, I don't know if it's native to this species or this, oh. this uh, biodome. I don't know. I'm not a microbiologist. I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, no, I just need 10 minutes we're, alone, we're privately. <laughs> we know yeah. you're just the janitor. I was. Okay, well. Now I'm, the fear of all the final bosses really at this point. I, oh. I think it was okay. actually I, I am gonna have to uh, uh, an adultly I'm going to have to step in because I feel that this ego is going to get you killed if I let this go unchecked for too long no, no, uh, bud bud I, I know um maybe I should give an opportunity for the rest of the party to shine every now and then but yeah I, actually yes it's my actually if, if, if I don't act quick enough though I fear that maybe Maybe the job won't get done. Maybe this was all serendipitous. I was never meant to be a janitor back there. Maybe I needed I needed that little bit of push of having my toes threatened to be removed by uh, a very upset Mr. Tian. And uh just, Well, if I'm it's so any consolation, of... Mr. Tian and his dragon friend have already taken credit, so Well I understand that he, he's he has some confidence issues. And if that's what makes Mr. TM feel that he can swing and not miss. I, I saw what happened when we were on the boat. When he had a lack of confidence. He needs this boss kill. It's okay. I know in my heart of hearts that I'm two for two. And you know what? Maybe we'll just keep this as our little group secret about that. We'll for them... Tian's for Tian's confidence sake, I think it's the best thing, but yeah, okay. I think that's 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 a good move. 
but also I, I agree let's let's let room for others to shine too i think that's a, i think that's a good lesson though i've learned out of this truly well, we, we don't know the most the other we bosses know how, to make you their center target so you know you gotta we really know how bright your star shines okay we know how bright the most humble thing i could do and and matter of fact and pal please Dijon is friend, not food. Okay. <laughs> it's like been playing right. back and forth right. on Pal's tongue. Right. He's right. the only just, thing I had right. Mal, Mal for six just, days right. was Dijon. Right. <laughs> right. And Dijon walks right up the snoot and sits down on the back of Pal. Right. Oh my God. Oh. That's the freaking cutest. First he has his own little knit blanket. Now he's got a little duck fed. <laughs> Okay, actually, there, this is a cuteness overload. I've got to go look at whatever bloodletting they were doing back in the street stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you just walk in, we're both just covered in blood. It's like, oh, you guys are doing it. Oh, there's a spine. The crack is holding a spine above his head. With <laughs> look what I got. <laughs> it's just like this. <laughs> oh, that was so uh. special. <laughs> uh... Okay, this is for la this DM is for later, uh, Mr. Tian, correct? Yeah, whenever we talked about. Oh, okay, no, don't worry stuff, about it. Enough, so. enough said. It was just there is a lot there, and I wanted to make sure and confirm that if there was something I read needed to read now and get to it, I couldn't see honestly, because there was yeah. a lot there. Honestly, first image would make sense, but yeah, uh, no, absolutely. You, uh, you have officially entered into the Bife DMs that sometimes I get, and I go. <laughs> I can't work. skim that uh, yeah. <laughs> while I'm in session. I'm I went to public school. That, that's why I gave you the TLDR at the, at the bottom. Public school. I said TLDR. Oh, the yeah, fun part know. is the message is so big that TLDR isn't exposed when you first <laughs> click on it. Uh, you have to do some scrolling. <laughs> TLDR. Guys, look, when I create a character and build a bunch of lore behind it and there's things, you know, like, look, there's just things I have to share and, you know, like, yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> I just tell Robert when I'm when when we're drunk. That's when I tell him. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not well, I've had a couple beers, so I mean, you know. <laughs> that's our secret. We're always buzzing now that we have Voodoo Ranger hard charge tea, which that's I want to let everybody know after my first weekend of drinking uh, more <laughs> than what any person should ever consume of hard charge tea. It gives a false positive that you're hydrated. Yeah. All of a sudden, yes. you are just deathly dehydrated. That tracks. Like beer, you get cotton mouth and like liquor. Like, you know, there are signs. Hard charge tea, there are no signs until you're in danger mode. And yeah. <laughs> once you're in danger mode, you're too late. I came home on the train very unwell, and it took me a day to hydrate. <laughs> Sneak, you I know what? I got an entire box of liquid IVs sitting next to me, and that's like all I've been. <laughs> Since it's tea already, next time, I'm I'm going to do a full cup of ice with each yeah. tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let it water it's down. Del it's delicious on, on ice and even more dangerous. Because it goes <laughs> really uh, fast. Yeah. Uh, definitely hard charged. Mm. Liquid IV is amazing. Okay, that's all. Okay, two, two important things. Uh, one, we found Dylan, and two, Christian, y y this decision to come and do the yon tea has actually panned out extremely well for everybody involved. Wait, what are you guys... Was something important happening? Did I run into something important? Looks like you guys are... Crack is holding up the spine of this <laughs> creature. Marcos is like, give it another pull! Like, the hide is coming off. He has it pinned down with the... Uh, <laughs> Yep, okay. With his trident, uh, his tracks. <laughs> there was this small bit of blood that Christian had kind of performed in his ceremony, which, by the way, I would like to know with that ceremony, were you looking for any of the particular benefits? You might have to elaborate in terms of like what I like. Anytime someone does a ceremony in RP, I revert back to the actual ceremony table. Oh. oh. So, give oh. you a familiar, there is atonement, which is 
talks about changing alignment. For us, it can be your energy, your aura, trying to kind of yeah, sage smudge, something like 100%, that. 100%, 100% atonement. It would be crystals. Yeah, well, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you the other ones though, just to let you know. Sure. There's sure. creating, there's blessing an area that can contain the water and doesn't have to necessarily think of it as being holy, but there is a cleanse. There is a coming of age ceremony. There is a dedication. Don't come. There is a funeral rite, which changes and makes sure that things cannot become undead that are in a certain place. And of course there is wedding spells and I, uh, one that will not be used here because it does not mm. pertain to this scenario. Okay. Yeah, that's probably good. I, I would say the, 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 the thought behind it was that although we killed the beast, uh, this entity, um, this is not Christian's kill or our kill. This is Ulrishan in his perspective. This is this is a, a task that was sent out. He, he has placed the mark down 100%. He is blessing this area and, and giving Ulrishan our here through the ceremony. That's the, that's the, the intent. I what want that you, means, yeah. I want you to roll your spell attack with advantage. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. This was, I guess, when we added this to my favorite. Thing. It's going to do D20 plus 9. First roll. Pretty good. By the way, the, uh, Oh, I forgot. You're manually doing that. That's why. 27. Tarbin. Do you still have a hand on his shoulder? Yeah. All right. With a 27... The room begins to get smaller for you, Christian. It's similar to the haze that was permeating out inside the swamp, but there's something different about it. It's not this corrupted green it's this vibrant like olive and neon Tarbin your vision begins to do the same and as you look around you can't see anybody that was in the room before. Even though Crack and Marcos were right in front of you, just harvesting this creature, it isn't there either. You look down and your blood has sifted. You can see it's Combined with what has drained out from this abomination. And through that fog in front of you, you see two diamond eyes appear. Those diamond eyes almost as big as crack. Staring back out at you.
and it Christian. continues to stare. Let me see the big eyes in front of us right now. Can I hear him? Yeah. Do I see the eyes? You're the first person I described. Yes, you can see the eyes. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about uh, him. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, do I sense a familiarity with the eyes, or is this alien? You have no idea, but there is the same sense of constricting being lifted, except the opposite. It feels like your world is closing in around you. Like you're being wrapped up. I see the eyes. Yes. I feel a change. And then you see its head and the rest of its body. As this massive serpent that has coiled into the entire chamber. We'll pick right up after this ad stops. Take a quick <laughs> stretch break. What's going What is with the snake? I've got an RP boner from here to Timbuktu, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll find out. Dub TF, mate, has that been on this map this whole time? It's a different version of the map. It's a different version of the map. Ah! Yeah, I immediately went with man with the diamond eyes. Like when you said it, I was like, <laughs> it's a snake with the diamond eyes. Yo, thanks for all the go. new. Oh, I need to type it. Thanks for all the new folks joining. You won't miss a thing. Mm. What did you guys just start talking to? Mm. I haven't talked to mm, anything yet. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. About to find out. Mm -hmm. Thanks About again, Bobby, for the raid. If you're still here in the rest of your community, love you guys. I hope you had awesome either playing D&D &D or Baldur's Gate. Or doing whatever crazy stuff Bubby was up to tonight. I'm gonna refill my water. Do yeah, it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Also, I think still one of the coolest things about this whole thing is is building a, a character and building all of this lore and then like saying, hey, here's the lore, here's how these things work, and then it's just like, cool. We'll figure out how to implement it and, and like make things happen or whatever. And it's like I don't know. Best part it's of storytelling, cool. man. Yeah, it's so cool. Co, co storytelling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got like two warriors of very different paths. You know what I mean? Like in this moment. Ugh. Yeah, but really, really bound by something that really only you two have talked about for a while now, which is this like how to keep Christian in check. And that's like, Tarbin's really the only one that's privy to that conversation. And for him to be there in this moment is like, mm -hmm. oh, that's good. <laughs> it's a code. It's like yeah, a, right. You know, it's like a warrior's code kind of thing. Ugh. And still to this day, I think that the greatest, one of the, one of the one, I shouldn't say the greatest, but one of the faults I mean, Christian has faults, right? I think every character you create is in the, and the best characters you create have faults, right? And they're supposed Absolutely. to lead on it. And I think it's interesting because it, just because it hasn't happened yet, it almost did once, but the entirety of this time up until recently, Christian has been so focused on Akiko and her losing control and him feeling like he has control, but he doesn't. Um, no. Nope. You know, and it's like he hasn't had that that break yet. So, you know, I, you know, it's just interesting. But but at least being conscious enough to have the conversation with Tarbin and be like, hey, like, you know, oh, help me. There's a small chance this could happen, but 
it could happen. You know, from our, from our conversations, he, he knows that your ultimate goal is ascension, but Tarbin's most worried about, like you said, the power getting to you too quickly and causing you to lose your mind. Yeah. Hey, you got a little hungry at my power that one time. I never <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> I never forget about that. <laughs> well, it was enticing. <laughs> I didn't forget. You look delicious, and I just wanted a piece, you know? Which I, just, also I just needed think, that power. Like, after starting to like control my own things, I think I would become like oblivious to you in just like a I don't know. Well, it hasn't been a thing, right? Because because you, you've, yeah. you've got control now, right? Yeah. Like, and the only time we had was that blip, right? Where you kind of came out of it quickly. Exactly. But my hand was on the sword, but like you came out of it and I was like, okay, all right, we're, okay. we're, we're chilling. Hey. <laughs> As you guys stare back at this great serpent in the presence of something you know without a doubt that is larger and more vibrant than anything else on this material plane. And you all sit there in awe Knowing that this thing is otherworldly, you can feel it. Christian, I would like you to choose 18 consecutive numbers. Since Tarbin is here by your side through this spiritual voyage, I will apply guidance and let you choose 22 consecutive numbers. Wow. You're getting close to 25%. And that's almost 50-50. I mean, that's you're getting <laughs> like. I am going to do the right as rain normal. And I will I will go one through 22, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do one through 22. Please roll. That percentile die. Oh. oh, I almost went the other way. I almost said a hundred down, but I was like, that's too much math. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to luck it? Uh, I think I already used the luck unless it doesn't apply to this. I don't know if this is considered combat or what this is. I have no idea what this is, chat. So I don't I don't know what applies or not. I know I use the luck. Nope, you can use one. Well then yeah, I'm gonna use one. <laughs> so hundred <laughs> percent. Same numbers? Yep. Yeah, he has to use the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be, it has to be the same. So Oh. Oh. Almost. Reaching out. What has been on the top of your mind, Christian? Probably Ol Roshan and the task before us. And let me rephrase that. Sure. What have you been seeking from Ol Roshan? The 
the first the first affirmation the first step in the sentence the first nod that I, I am for sure on the path I'm supposed to be you've been looking for strength from within I feel as if I am not the one you were hoping to see. Who are you? Why have you come to this place? Why have you entered my home? Why has the swamp become a distant world? Why are my children so lost? There are many questions. My child, I feel the call within you. While you are not a disciple of mine, you have still opened the veil to my eyes. Oh, what has become? of Bog Haller. A usurper. Trying to stake claim. We're here to end it. I feel as if you may have answered my own prayers at a crucial unfathomable time and you One who walks on two legs. Your spirit is strong. Why are you here in this realm? The North cries. I can feel its frozen tears wrapped around your heart. You cry from multiple regions of this world. Why are you here? Is that Tarbin? The bear has no tongue, paralyzed from bee stings from too much honey extraction. Does your friend speak? He does. I speak for myself. 
but I don't know how you can know about my home. Not all of my eyes are shrouded. But what has happened here falls like dominoes. The ice is melting. It is stretching our swamp into the ocean. I have not been able to see it until now. And yet only a small glimpse of sunlight shines in such a dark place. And you've seen enough to know why we're here. I Evil do. pushes the corruption out. Brought us to these shores. That's why we push further into the swamp. That's what brings us your lair, domain. Confiler is poisoning everything. We aim to stop that. Piece at a time if we must. I have not known of this grim filer. But I understand its strength now. Is awoken. Something inside me since I laid the great roots to this swamp so many years ago. I should have checked on it sooner. But alas, your sacrifice here opened my eyes. What are your names? I am Tarbin Forgepaw of the Caliban Mountains. I am Dragon Knight Christian Geller. Christian, I feel the great power that flows through you. This too is far from home. But unlike your friend, Darwin Forge Paul, Your home does not cry for you, no you for it. You're seeking something. Something unfulfilled. Something that your home wants to see from you before you can return. I do not know what it is. But I hope that you find it. You deserve to have the shroud lifted over your true potential. And you, Tarbin. Your home 
deserves to be free as much as mine. How you walk these lands. May your party walk with my boon. I am Nogashaw. And while I cannot fully manifest back into Bog Holler until it has been cleansed, I can remain in this tree. As we are one and the same, its roots are my flesh and blood. These scales are like bark. And my health is tied to it. I am not as strong on this plane as I once was. Please, both of you, cleanse my home. Let it return to its natural state. I can see, though, that you will need it help in this process. As you carry my boon, so shall my finest walk this plane with you. I will send you the aid of my champion. The last of his people. The Black Coatl. Damien Ikar. And you will see up from the blood and from the flesh of that yon tea that you guys have just carved up it begins to form a human body and flesh as you see it's completely like a flayed human being in front of you as it begins to slowly add its skin back on and eventually it fully forms. And you can see the large serpent headdress over his body. Tattooed in a skull underneath the fangs. Dark patches over his skin and large teal and purple feathers. As... A Yonti with a large gnarled staff that resembles the greatest qualities of the swamp. My name is Damien. I hear we have swamp to cleanse well met amen I am Christian this is the task at hand Damien be good to have you help us except your uh 
aid. I'm Tarbin. It is nice to meet both of you. I have not stepped foot in another world before. But I have seen many in my own eyes. If Naga Shaw says that the Yonti here are lost, then I will help send them home. As I am the last of my people. Whoever these were, this is not their home. And their souls deserve to be back in their own ziggurat. So to whoever this grim filer is, may we bring it a swift death. And that haze is going to be lifted inside the room. And where you look up and think that you see parts of Naga Shaw just simply aren't there. They're the tree roots, just as you saw them before. Vaguely scale-like. If you squint very hard, there's sometimes that you think you see a diamond eye out there. It's at this moment of this being being made flesh and blood and this last bits of conversation are what the rest of you see. Uh, uh, Christian but, just holds a hand up like it's OK. No snake guy, no snake guy. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, they're here to help. Okay. And, and that, it's just because I can't help myself. Um, uh, divine sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You do not it's detect okay. any uh, malevolence on this new Damien. Perhaps maybe we uh, introduce Damien to the rest of the crew. They all heard him from like that point on is what they got. Got it. Well, he doesn't know their names, so. Uh, no, no, no. That that's the case. I was just letting you know where where they uh, where they uh, w picked up on from that spot. You want to do the, the honors on his headdress? Is that? That's like from, that's some old stuff. Is this, did you guys just meet him? What, what is, what, 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 where did all this happen? Uh, do you know anything about a god from the swamp by the name of Nagasha? Nagasha? I haven't heard that name in forever. That's, um, that's some, that's some old stuff. That's, that's like, that's, that's way before, I mean, that's way before Viz, that's way before, I mean, that's, we're talking like, like creation of, of our, of our like, planet level names. And its roots did build Bog Hala. And needless to say, it's a little pissed about what's going on right now. Wait, did, well, wait. Pissed at us? Are you saying that you no. just talked to Nagasha? Glances at Tarvin. <laughs> when does you he just, just speak with a god? Maybe he you, does. You got to meet the, the swamp creator? 
in my swamp and I wasn't there for it. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm calm. It's cool. I'm calm. Well, I'm not how jealous. About you meet your champion and introduce yourself. Nagashaw sends his blessing. To all of you. Um. Wow. Uh, well, thank, thank you. M my name's Bud. Um, and this is my trusty sidekick, Pal. Wait, where, where is Pal? And like Pal shows up with Dylan riding him and Tijon <laughs> on his <laughs> snout still. <laughs> uh, well, uh, great to have you here. Um, oh, I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted right now. I'm not gonna lie. Breathe. Nagashaw wishes for you to cleanse the rest of this swamp. They have long been missing. There is a reason the disconnect between the old gods and the swamp. But you know the old stories and how the roots and the swamp was formed. While this is not my home, it is very similar to what I used to call home. While my ziggurat is no longer here, the multiverse is mine. I am pleased to be here and help you in this cause. Dude, we, oh, this is um, awesome. Yay, awesome. V very excited. Um, I mean, what, what do we do now? We just, we just you go. also become the champion of your people. Both of you he looks at you bud and he looks at Tarbin oh yeah I forgot to mention that Nagashaw also knows what's going on in my home well I, so, I guess that's not too surprising <clears throat> if that thing's still around that's I mean that's gotta have eyes on everything maybe don't call a god a thing yeah okay that's that's fair that god's got Still around. I mean, they got they got eyes on everything. It's a lot to process. Um, Just put it this way: we both have a vested interest in what happens here. <sighs> Personally, man, my cousin's never gonna believe this. That, that my <laughs> venturing party met Nagashaw the creator of our swamp. We used to be told these stories about this as we were like tiny little tadpoles. This is so cool. <laughs> hey man, I've been right over here the whole time. I've just been keeping my mouth <laughs> shut, man. It's just a lot. You, Earl, I know you're it's here. A lot to, it's a cousins. lot to process. Well, when you say cuz, you know, I kind of think you're talking to me since I'm here, but you know, um, we all got big families, you know? I mean, yeah, that's a, literally hundreds of us. Okay, not a hundreds. That's a, that's an exaggeration, but you, you know what I'm saying. Damien, this is Crack and Akiko. Crack. And that's Mark, Marcus. Marcos. Akiko. Marcos. It's a pleasure. And you said your name is Dylan Dijon? No, uh, my, my name is Dylan. My duck's name is Dijon. And that, yeah, that Dijon's over there on, he's on the, on Pal, the big, the big, big crocodile alligator. I, I, I really, I'm not a micropiologist. I said, I, I really don't know what it is. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just feeling a little, a little <laughs> I was a little anxious today. Uh, not every day do you go two for two when you... Well, and I, I nudge him. I nudge him as soon as he says that. Yeah. 
Uh, when our party goes two for two on these <laughs> big bosses, you know, it's... That's good, good, good job, Dylan. Thanks. Remember, remember, and I look at him just... You and me. It's, uh, it's an easy being a big time adventurer, you know? I, I know. I, know I don't want him to just write about me. Yeah, I want him to write about the rest of the party, but with... Yeah, it's okay. And when you're so in touch with the Fae like I am, you know... <laughs> Oh, Dylan. Well, wait, so are you like, um, Mr. Damien, uh, godson, sir, um, are you... I am not okay? the son of Nagasha. Merely a champion. Oh, okay, okay. Are, are you, um, are you okay? Do you need anything? Do you need to, are you, are you raring to go? Uh, are you, um, do we need to rest? Are you, like, I feel like you just came up out of a pile of blood, so I'm a little, I'm just making sure that you're okay, I guess is really what I'm asking. He will eerily walk forward in all of his ceremonial garb and he will extend a hand over to yours. I'll grab it. <laughs> I have a friend it is much like your own kind. Oh, oh, oh yeah? You, you met some frog folk before? Similar, but different. Loves to fish. But feel. I am smooth. Like a newborn. I will never feel as good as I do today. Oh, so you're like, you're feeling real good. Wow, oh my God, look. And my hand just like kind of slowly makes its way up his arm, just like feeling the smoothness. <laughs> I mean, just stop me if it, if it gets too he, he politely grabs it and, uh, yeah. you know, kind of... <laughs> takes it from I'm running sorry, up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You, you can start was, to feel I, the it, goosebumps a little bit. He's like, it's, yep, uh, that was, it that is was, also that was new to me. me. Um, wow, okay. Well, um, you wouldn't happen to know anything about any of these abominated Yanti beings around, do you? You just, I this feel like there's some a sort of similarity going on here. Different tribe. But my people are all connected. Something has changed in them. And they are far from their home. Bog Holler is not theirs. But Grim Filer is twisting them. He is trying to bring about a cult of the dead and to raise a ziggurat with their twisted spirits and souls. That is not the will of my people. They deserve their freedom as much as this swamp deserves its own. I will fight for that freedom, even if it means releasing the souls of all of them to go back home. That sounds tough, but it makes sense to me. This is not the only life for my people. I mean, heck, you might be like the perfect proof of that right there as you are now a newborn again. In a strange way, I am. I was on the journey to somewhere else. But your urgency brought me here. And I'm glad it did. 
for that next task is overwhelming. It does it does feel that way. I will get to that soon. You have my full attention. Anybody that wants to roll an insight roll may do so. I'm, I'm talking to him. I'm definitely running that. <laughs> oh, yeah. My insight's amazing. Oh, dog doo doo. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Christian it's getting me. that one in. Christian is hero blown. He's just like, wow. Oh, Marcos. Like champion. With the 24. <clears throat> Kiko at 21. As the, uh, um, carbon? Well, I can't, uh, can't remember what. This... It's not doing the thing. There it is. Mm. As Damien had said, like, Ooh. oh, we're all connected. You see, like, crack kind of tuck all of the viscera and everything he, like, yep. extracted kind of behind him. He's like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Like, don't look behind you. <laughs> he will specifically key in on that for a second and look back at the rest of you. <laughs> it is okay. You have nothing to hide, little one. It is of the utmost honor that you would use our spirits, flesh and blood for good. The last thing I want to see on this plane is another resurrected body of a defiled Yondi. Make use of every ounce. Harbin, Akiko, Marcos. When he talks about the overwhelming, there is a vision that flashes in your head. It is but a blip. But you see a hand that is withered and an eyeball in the center. You can comment further or hold it inside. If your character wants to roll a history or religion check, you may do so. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Trying to make sense of what pops into my head. Yeah. <laughs> you poor thing, you have a minus one on your religion check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. God's bless me, me swing hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we? Carbon, you don't know what it means, but it gives you the heebie jeebies. And considering the fact that you've just talked to this old God that seems to have a footprint here and in other worlds you feel as if there is something even darker and more impressive or oppressive than Grimfiler out there somewhere else oh god no mm -hmm. Why is it when I hear you talk about the overwhelming, I get this sense like there's something really bad out there that's 
floating around. There is indeed a darkness growing. Thankfully, their presence is not yet in this world. But if you can listen strong enough, you can hear its whispers in the night wind. Like a withered hand. Indeed. Nagashaw has told me that you are looking for the survivors of this swamp. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we were hoping, well, we were on our way to go see if we could find a, a resistance collection. Um, we had, we had just made our way. We had seen a sign a little, a little bit further up the swamp, but we, um, we kind of circled back and, Ended up deciding to fight this Yan T here because we had the jump on it. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're hoping to find some of, I mean, maybe even some of my clan. Um, trying to do the good fight and uh, leave a lot of resistance, right? Resistance, right? Viva la resistance. They resist taunts. That is new. I like it. Sometimes you get a frog in your throat, you know, it just, it, it happens. Kind of like pops like his mouth like Val Kilmer in Top Gun where his fangs are at. <laughs> Indeed. Dylan is going to lean over. And I know he's the new nice guy, but uh, uh, don't let him look at Dijon like that, okay? I don't think you have anything to worry about with Dijon. He, no, don't I let him look at your gator either. You've, I've seen those videos. I'm just saying. You've seen what the invasive here, species can do. Everybody here recognizes the cuteness level of Dijon. And it's too high to. I'm just saying that serpent, serpents can eat like five times their size. Ooh, don't, you better watch out when he gets hungry. I'd hate for You're him to. You're a two for two boss killer. What I, are you worried about? Well, I'd hate for him to be number three, Akiko. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um. Yeah, I mean, she, you you didn't happen to get sent here with any crazy insight from Nagashaw as to where the resistance might be at. That just seems like a crazy thing to ask. I'm, I'm asking it anyways, but I mean. Nagashaw could not see the resistance until you opened their eyes. So it wasn't crazy. The only parts of the swamp Nogashaw can see uh, of the east. You are safe here now. Oh, well, awesome. But we must find the resistance and let them know. They have been holed up here for quite some time. We must find and see what is left of them, rally them to the cause. And then we must clear the rest of the swamp. For each step that we take, Grim Filo's power will grow weaker. But our challenges will become great. That is why he has sent me. So like, like if we're safe here, if um, if there was any sort of like loud sound that we could make, and I look at Earl, and um, maybe send out like a signal that uh, maybe some of our family might be used to hearing, we wouldn't be um, 
opening ourselves up for another attack, right? You're, you're thinking that we're safe here? The abominations will be swallowed all here. And Kiko, you can sense that as well. With your scepter of the fish tyrant, for the first time, you feel as if you were walking without having to just exude your own natural magic and stopping this vegetation from sending signals out of your location and presence. The swamp itself in this corner has its own agency again. And with the old god of Nagashal being there, the swamp can fight back on its own. So while you're in this corner of the swamp, outside forces will literally be fought tooth and nail by every thorn and bramble, bush, creature, and swamp itself. So mechanically, you cannot enter combat while you are in the east. I'm going to grab Earl's hand and drag him outside of the, the, the tree that we're in. And you're just going to hear this loud croak that you've never heard from Brud before ever. But like, as soon as he gets to the doorway, you're just going to start hearing. And I would imagine Earl will start right in with this same echoing sound. And we're just going to start pushing that out as loud as possible <laughs> from the stuff uh, his sounds like muse it's so weird And it's like they, they go back and forth at this for a while of, <laughs> of just like trying to get a deeper, a deeper, a deeper croak. But this is, I really I mean, wanted this to see how long we were going to do that on stream. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> Only for just a couple of rounds. <laughs> First it was trying to sync up, then it became a competition. It was really weird. <laughs> well, that's Everybody watching this is croaking at home. People are wondering yeah. why. Are you okay? <laughs> Do I need to give you your medication, Billy? At the end of it, it really is just Ice Rocker's daycare over here. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> trying to keep the boys in line. <sighs> uh, I had a question, DM. Coming out of the uh, constricting in that place and standing there, um, Two things. There's a knowledge now that unlocked that this is the roots of this ancient entity. Um, so Christian wanted to look down and see if if the symbol that he had carved is still on the floor and if he still feels that strong connection to Ulrashan coming out of that. Hold that thought. <laughs> Noted. Bud Earl, when you guys are bellowing out into the swamp. Uh, all right. It's like almost a gentle thunder wave. And you can see it sweep through the swamp like a song in the wind. And as it blows through the trees and the swamps and the hollows, it begins to kind of carve its own path of cleanse. As it seems to return 
the swamp into the vibrancy that you haven't seen since when you grew up. Some parts even look like pictures long before Big Vis's range. Earl looks at you. His, he's just got wells in his eyes. It was pretty magical, man. I'll be honest. I never thought I'd see it like this again. I, this is this is the prettiest I've ever seen it. I don't ever think I've seen it like this either. It's. I, I mean, it just does something to you when you when you see all of the life getting to live the way that it's supposed to. It just. There's something precious about it. <laughs> He's gonna pull that jug out, all misty eyed. Do the only thing he knows to do. Oh, this calls for a celebration. And he pulls out a green solo cup. <laughs> you still have one? We have one. He pulls out a second. The only thing is who still damn right the top of it where the rim is at it's like frog lips what <laughs> huh it's a solo cup with frog lips that's <laughs> odd just the color it's still plastic it's the uh it's the what is it the the bog hollow town council radio or what what is it what is the, <laughs> the chamber of commerce chamber of commerce <laughs> chamber of commerce <laughs> but these things are weathered i would imagine because I, I haven't seen these in ages right and so this this is coming out of his stash of because oh, just because you ain't seen it doesn't mean i ain't got freshies oh my gosh golden oh just golden oh antique God. As he pours a little bit of that bog holla, and he actually pulls out a special one for you. You know, it's getting close to the season. I ain't made this in a long time. Some dandelion wine. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you what, out in the audience, if you're there to have somebody special <laughs> enough to pull out some real dandelion wine for you. You know you've entered some country swamp ass shit. <laughs> but I'll take a big, huge swig of that and just let out this amazing burp of just bad. <laughs> Wiser. As it will shake the tree just a little bit. Back inside. Is there anybody else that has questions for Damien or what's just transpired? No, but I do want to go break me off one of them big old long teeth. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about them since you told me how long they were. <laughs> Man, there, I'm a souvenir. There are several of them. Pocket teeth. <laughs> pocket ah. teeth. And hey, for I me, got the coolest collection of pocket teeth, man. In my in my mind's eye, and man, it's just it's got to look like those uh, those swords they made in Dune. It's got to look like Shylude's tooth, but just yeah. like a little bit like um, the Chris knife. Yeah, yeah the Chris knife. It's got to look. Uh, Maybe a little bit more colorful and vibrant, a little less brown and a little bit more olive to neon green on the inside of it. I've, I've already got cured leather I'm going to wrap the handle with. I'm just going to break it off and tune it up. Anyone else? Once uh, Crack hears that, you know, gets the, the go ahead to just use everything and sees Tarvin going over for the... Uh, the, the um, teeth and just kind of waddles up to Tarvin and whispers like just 
rip out the whole skulls, man. I want all those skulls. Because he, like, remembers that he's building his death arrow. And one of the requirements are just a pack of skulls. Dude. Dude. You will be able to get them all. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'd look at you side-eyed for a second and then just go to ripping them out. Anyone else? So, so glad this worked out. <laughs> I'm mm. I'm already focused on my thing, so I'm good. Eco, anything for you? I mean, as long as my little fish buddy doesn't have anything to say, because I don't. I he's, feel like we're. He's still with his curtains pulled up. Yeah, but he's, he's still a little angry. I didn't he's, use he's, him. he's a little angry, but like he's also you can tell he is he's actively listening and he has been uh focused on what's been happening. Hmm. Then uh I'm just gonna go step back outside, I guess. I'm not gonna sit in the chamber too much more. Akiko, you it's have really to try this. Me here. Yeah. And I'll just I'll just shove some of the dandelion wine over to Akiko as soon as she comes out of the stump. Actually, do, do I have Chris... to use this cup? Oh, uh, I kind of look back at it. I mean, it's a it's an Why iconic it piece like of Valhalla culture and history right here. That you, I, okay, but yeah, it's like yeah. you're making out with a cup. It it's just looks like lips. Like it's not one, actually man. lips. I really. I just drink it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The awkward like <laughs> no you like try to like not put your mouth on it like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Try, like, like i don't know what i uh, what, what, what is this touching it <laughs> like what, what is this and somehow the lips still reach you yeah <laughs> well we're on this quick little ad break before we finish the episode i think i'll have just Bud and Earl kind of stare out at the horizon further towards the east. And where you only had God rays coming through before in that small patch that Akiko had helped open up, you're going to see the sun begin to rise in Bog Hall for the first time since the corruption set in. And each bit of those rays begins to hit that pocket of fog and oppressive mist that's been over the top. And you can see it. And it's sunshine wiping over the entire plain. You can hear the sounds of the swamp. It all begins to swell like a song. Bugs, little creatures, critters, everything slowly making its way up and out as if they've been hiding as well. There's even a smell that's different. The only thing that you can equate it to is like the excitement of going out with a friend early morning if you've been around water before right at daybreak that moment when there is only you silence and the anticipation of fun friendship and camaraderie out on the water and those early morning creatures are all that exist between you and the glass that sits out. We fade from you and your cousin having that moment on the swamp. Back over to inside the stump, what's left of this great tree 
Damien walks over to you, Christian. The spot on the floor that was there. Your blood is not. But the marking is. And it's inlaid in bronze. But not just regular bronze or you look at it and it has scales. How do you react to seeing this mark as you were when you bring it to my attention? I think he looks. He looks down at the mark and then looks up at Damien for but a moment, just noticing him. And then he looks down again and I think he gets down on one knee and he just kind of once again just rubs that hand across the symbol, and feels the scales and feels the mark on the ground. And I think as just a nod, thank you for allowing this. Damien. Thank you for being present. Puts a hand on your shoulder. I do not know Of older Sean dealt today. But I know that he brings gifts the same as Nagashaw. And you begin to see that symbol that has been inlaid in the ground. This thing begins to twist like a medallion and change as it opens up into the center as two large chests, one covered in scales like bark, one covered in scales like bronze come up from the center of the room. They always bring gifts for those who ask. But Christian, the greatest gift of all as he takes your hand and brings it towards your chest is in you. As you guys see a simple bronze dragon scale where Damien's hand is on Christian's. And we'll pick up with the rest of that moment when we come back next Tuesday. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Loot drop, <What>? baby. <laughs> Another Both. NPC. Another NPC. <laughs> We're collecting him. We're the zoo. This is what we do. Us. I swear. <laughs> The this doesn't bode well for what we're gonna face if we're just does not it does not, not at all. <laughs> Here, let me let me give you a it's champion like, from an old god. Yeah, you're, you'll you're you'll need die. this. <laughs> <laughs> Building a coalition. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much yeah. good lore this episode. Oh, Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Feels good that uh, it went well. <laughs> Does feel good that it went well. You are so lucky Dylan came back. I was I was so ready to give you so much shit because you were so proud of that fight and losing Dylan would suck. 
six days in the Fay, and I'm glad to be in Barcelona. I don't think I don't think Christian even like that whole moment. Like it was, uh, he was so enraptured in the moment that I don't even think he realized Dylan was gone. Probably not. I Probably believe not. that. You know, honestly. and then, like he just shows up with a duck, and it's like that's Dylan. You know, like, I don't I don't know where he gets this duck from, but like. <laughs> he's, he's throwing wah, wah, out weird face shit wah, the whole entire time. Wah. It's like, yeah, sure, he's got a duck now, I guess. I don't the know. The only reason I had to is because I was right next to him, like literally in combat. I was right next to Dylan. <laughs> so that was really the otherwise, I probably wouldn't have noticed it either. Yeah. This was a uh, a call to you. This was a calling, and, and we did it. Got yeah, gifts yeah, from Ul Rashan and Nagashaw. Naga Shaw, that's a name we haven't heard yet, right? Like, yeah, this is my, this is, this is all my Damien lore. So, yeah, Damien yeah. is going to be my character for Vecna Eve of Ruin because uh, you guys start uh, at level 10. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. And I was yeah, like, if anybody else in chat saw my face, yeah. Like, as soon as you saw the hand, I, was, uh, yeah. I, I saw, I saw it. when he said the hand, I was like, Ooh. Yeah, if, any, <laughs> if anybody remembers Brucey. <laughs> Brucey's coming back? No, Brucey was oh. was a a warlock of Vecna. Well, mm -hmm. I just I, di I didn't know if you were gonna. I could. Have, you know, <laughs> I didn't that know. Was, that was the little little lore I dropped. Oh um, no, we did know that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I just, I just At the very end, we're like, he started when he started hearing the whispers, and we're like, what the f is that? Yeah, like, that's yeah. right. He's a dirty. Shit, he's I a happened, dirty I boy. Upon one of one of Vecna's rings, and that was my. It got caught around my waist and never left. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I it did. It was around your waist. Uh, yeah. yep. Man, when you're, yep, yep. when you're small, you know, shit happens. I was a tiny oh. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you, when you're big, shit happens yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how much crack uh, looks like a goblin version of Howie Mandel. He does, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With his goatee. Yeah. Uh, Port Harbin, too. Port Harbin. Just... The entire reminder of getting here is the fact that he knows that his it's homeland is Something. is getting smaller and smaller yeah. because of this the the ice melt, which is awful. It's actually because of the boomer generation, but yeah. <laughs> the, the boomers are not allowed to be in my multiverse. Okay. All right. Gen G. This is this is giant problem. Giant forces the Fey have caused this. <laughs> not 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 mediocrity and inaction. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I could I could help that. <laughs> I love it. Oh. We did it. We did it. We and we One actually we, down. Good Lord. and we had an episode. I'm even more proud of that. With all the odds against us, Pax East, our voices, are gonna, energy are levels. Give us our proper numbering then. Is this a 40 or is this going to be a 39.5? Oh yeah. Wait, did we do it? This was 39.5. You don't get 40 till next week. <laughs> you don't get 40 till next week. But we do get a level up. We just leveled. <laughs> I ask. I don't know. We just killed some ancient being. I don't freaking know. I'm just, I'm just yeah, throwing. Technically, we didn't even fight it. It was already, <laughs> it was already <laughs> sleeping. Like we just kind of. Well, hey, we just it, made sure it slept. This could have gone. Well, he he said, if we don't do this, it. What was it? And I like, was we'll, very we'll be scared. very, very yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. This uh, with the size of arm, like Tarvin's arm. <laughs> it would not have been good. It was. I got one of them tucked in my belt loop. <laughs> My love it love it uh, and that's where beautiful. we'll pick up next week not a point five. i did it just for you at the very end <laughs> uh, we'll see you all then Bye. good night everybody